Hi there, welcome to chandu.org. Today we are going to talk about an interesting formula problem. Well, you could call this as an array formula problem that uh, you might find quite useful. This is what uh, we are calling as sum of top three values meeting a criteria. This is actually asked by one of our members in chandu.org forums. And I found this problem and the solution presented by our members Narayan and few others quite interesting. So I thought, hey, let me make a video out of this so that uh, others can also benefit from this uh, solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see the problem. I'm just going to open up Excel here. So what we have here is, uh, uh, let me just collapse the ribbon. So you have a bunch of projects uh, with the project IDs and we have about uh, 100 projects. These projects belong to various regions and they also have a priority ranking. So we have four regions and you have a project, for example, project 001 is in the eastern region. And it is a low priority project which uh, has a budget of 22,000 US dollars. Okay. Now when you are looking at something like this and you're when, when you want to make some decisions like, uh, you know, maybe decide which projects to eliminate or which projects to give some more funding to or etc etc. Uh, one of the things that you're always interested to know is what are the top three projects for any given criteria. It could be top three, top five or top ten, it doesn't matter but uh, the basic logic is like this. So this is a question that somebody asked. How do I find the sum of top three projects within a region and project ranking? Now if you are to do this manually, for example, if you want to find out what are the top three projects and what, what is the total budget amount for them in the eastern region with the project ranking as low, what you would usually do is you will you will apply filters by adding filters to this and then you will just filter by east and low. Okay, so we, we have filtered out all the projects so that only east region and lower priority projects remain in the view. And then you look at these numbers, you could, uh, with the inspection of your eye, you can, you can easily spot that 25 is the highest budget, 24 is the next high and 23 is the next one. So some of these three, that is 72 is, is the top three value sum. Well, you could also argue that 23 has repeated twice, so it should be added, but that's not the case, right? So this is uh, the sum of top three, but this is a manual process. It, it is quite time consuming and also error prone. How do you write a formula to do this? That's what we are going to learn now. So let me first get rid of these filters. Uh, you could turn on and off the filters by using Control Shift L, L for list. And by using Control Shift L, you could enable or disable the filters. Okay, now let's, let's see. Uh, the input parameters for this this kind of formula are two parameters are required one is what kind of region is it that you want to uh, consider and what is the project ranking so i have set up an input area here where user can change for example you could change anything okay for the time being we'll just stick with east and low because that answer we know we have manually verified that the total is 72 and that is the formula okay let's just take a look at the formula this is, uh, this is a mixture of some product and large formulas. Those of you who have never used either of them, you might find this quite tricky, but believe me, these are really powerful and really useful formulas. So let me first demonstrate what the large formula does. Let us say you have some numbers in a range of cells like 8, 9, 10, 7, 12, 19, 6. Okay, just a bunch of random numbers. I'm going to make this easy for all of us by just enabling some borders around these numbers and now let's calculate what is the maximum number in this. That can be done with the max formula. You will know that the maximum is 19. But what if you want to find out what is the second maximum, top two value? Well that's where the large formula comes in. You would say large, large in this array 2. That means in that list, what is the second largest number? And you'd get that as 12. Okay. If you change that to one, you'll get that as 19 and three will get you the third highest number, which is 10. So using the large formula, you can extract 
any of the top values one at a time so you can find what is the first value second value third value but the problem that we have here is we need to extract all the top three values and then sum them up in one shot so how do we do that well very simple we can use a formula called sum product or we'll just use sum for the time being sum and we will say large okay large of that what do we want we want the sum of all the three top three values so we'll say one two three in curly brackets that means i want the sum of top three values in single shot so when you do it like that when you press enter uh, when you press enter it will go ahead and sum up the top three values and then give you the answer which is 41 so 19 plus 10 plus 12 is 41 so that's what the sum formula does it is going to take the large formula and run it three times because you have passed a list of values one two three in the array here right so that is that but this is summing up all the numbers irrespective of any criteria whereas here in the project situation we would like to sum up the numbers the top three numbers only in the eastern region with the priority of low so how do we add these extra conditions that is where our formula comes i've used some product but you could use some and it will work the same way okay let me just uh, change the fill color so it's easier to look at the formula so what we are doing is there are a couple more things that you need to know one is this is a table with the name projects so this will be easy to write the formulas otherwise we would write references like c5 to c104 d5 to d104 etc etc okay so we are saying large of projects region is equal to east project region is equal to east so that means wherever the region is east multiply that with project ranking is low multiply that with project budget so that means what we are really telling is multiplication is nothing but and so we are saying region is east and ranking is low and then if both of these are true only then get the budget value if neither of them is true you know, or one, you know, one of them is not true then what happens is this multiplication will make sure that the budget value becomes zero okay so this is how some product or some formula with arrays works uh, you can check out the resources on some product formula i'll mention a link to that here in this file when you download the file you can you can click on some product and read more about that how this multiplication will work as end operator okay so once that part is done out of all those values get me top three and then just sum them up you could use some or some product it is uh, it works the same way because there is nothing else that we are multiplying uh, it will give the same result okay so this is how simple it is to do that kind of calculation it might seem quite tricky for some of you who are looking at uh, this and trying to figure out but it is really easy okay the second solution this is just using a formula but what if you want a little more like you want to for example uh, make this easy without writing any formula <laughs> then you could go and insert a pivot table on this okay let's insert a pivot table in a new sheet we're going to call this as pivot right and then uh, and then take the project and put it here budget put it there okay now this up this is easy in Excel 2010 and 13 in 2007 also you can do it but uh, you will probably have to use a report filter so then you could go to report insert slicer and insert a slicer for region and ranking okay so you get two slicers one for region and one for ranking and then the next step is select east and low all the projects within east and low are shown here now click on row labels i'm sure uh, you can't see this so let me just insert a couple of blank rows here make this big okay so click on this and then go to value filters top 10 what do we want we just want top three items so we'll just say show me the top three projects um, by sum of budget right so then these top three projects will come this will actually handle the ties so you could see 23 23 twice and you can see the sum of top three projects is 95 
that this is not ignoring the ties okay so this and you can just change this and this will work beautifully for any combination okay so this is doing the same without writing any formula right so my favorite solution is to go with the pivot route because this will also tell me what are those individual projects without figuring out any of the formula logic but sometimes pivot tables are a bit hard to work with so then i would go and uh, use the formula with it okay so i hope you have enjoyed this little lesson my suggestions to you are read a little more about the sum product formula and how this asterisk or star operator works for ending the con ending to two sets of criteria and how to use slicers in pivot tables so that you could easily solve this in less than a minute and go and have some fun with something else okay so with that i'll conclude and i hope you have enjoyed this lesson for more information on some product pivot tables or anything related to excel you can check out chandra.org thank you so much for your time and attention and i wish you a fantastic day ahead bye bye